Today, we are starting a new topic, waterproofing. Our previous four videos were on air conditioning. We may be able to finish this topic in two to three videos. We shall understand how to waterproof a basement and also how to waterproof a terrace for any building. We shall also understand what exactly DPC damp proofing course is and what vertical DPC is. But we shall start by understanding the old methods of waterproofing where everyone mostly relied on tar coal or bitumen. So let's start with the old method of waterproofing the terrace of any building. The process was extremely simple. Look at the diagram on the left. This is a section through the parapet wall of the terrace. The first thing to do is to cut a chase. You can see there in the wall around 9 inches to 1 feet above the RCC slab. This is approximately 1.5 inch by 1.5 inch deep. Then make a small fillet at the junction of the slab and the wall. In local language, this is called galta. This is made of PCC with very fine aggregate. Doing these two things will create a lot of mess on the roof apart from the already existing mess. So now we need to clean the whole terrace thoroughly. Wash it also and let it dry too. Before the work on waterproofing starts, the surface should be absolutely dry. The material used to waterproof the terrace used to be charcoal or bitumen. But before we applied this material, we had to cover the small pores in the concrete. So we used to mix charcoal with kerosene oil and apply this with a brush. This used to be the primary coat, which you can see there, which made the tar go into the pores. Now the tar is applied after melting the chunks, which are retrieved from the drum as shown in the figure. You can see the chunks being kept in a vessel and melted by the fire below. This tar is poured on the concrete surface and spread with a trowel. You can see there. This thick layer of tar was the only waterproofing material used earlier. This coating was taken up till the chase up to the parapet wall. This used to be covered immediately with mud fusca, which is a mixture of mud and husk the very next day. Otherwise, with the sun's heat, the tar will melt. And in case there is a bit of slope in the slab surface, the tar will leave its position and we shall have areas with no tar at all. Even the tar on the vertical wall was quickly plastered so that it stays in place. After this, the brick tiles are used and these are normally laid with mud mortar. Yes, mud mortar. But here it is important to notice that the bricks were laid around half an inch apart as shown on the left. Then the rich cement mortar was inserted in the joints. This was called teeping or grouting. Since this was unusable, a terrace which was unusable and aesthetics was not a consideration, the slope given by the mud fusca was huge, sometimes as large as 1 is to 30. The reason was that no water should be left on the surface during rains since they knew that this was not a great system of waterproofing. And if water forms a puddle due to gradual slope, then this could penetrate the mud fusca. After this, a gola was created at the junction of the parapet wall and the brick tile to cover the end joint. This was made of 
वन इज टू वन पॉइंट फाइव इज टू थ्री पीसीसी इट्स स्लाइटली रिच विद सीमेंट द वॉटर ड्रेनेज पाइप यूज टू बी ऑफ कास्ट आयरन सो द हॉट टार वॉज कंटिन्यूड अप टू द पाइप नाउ डेज वी यूज पी वी सी पाइप सो हॉट टार के नॉट बी यूज देर हियर अ खुर्रा यूज टू बी मेड विच वॉज एक्चुअली नथिंग बट अ स्मॉल डिप्रेस्ड एरिया of around 1 feet by 1 feet for collection of water this was neatly cemented the jali on the pipe would prevent any leaves etc to enter the pipe and that's it waterproofing done and believe me this used to last for years with no seepage but sometimes the tipping used to crack and water used to penetrate and sometimes the gola used to crack and water again used to penetrate and since the tar was not a very effective material and would deteriorate with time so leakages used to start after some years so the solution was needed to keep the tar in place even during expansion and contraction because of heat and cold so tar felt was the next invention tar felt comes in a roll form and is a combination of hessian with bitumen you can see the roll on the left tar felt offers total impermeability to water total it is extremely good in expansion and contraction now let's understand how it is better than the previous system of using only tar the process of cleaning the roof making a chase in the wall and making that fillet is the same as in the old system the process of the primer coat is also the same after that hot bitumen is poured you can see that on the left and tar felt is laid over it the roll is gradually pressed on the hot bitumen as shown on the left this roll is approximately 1 meter wide and around 18 to 20 meter long the next roll is overlapped on this roll as you can see by around 4 inches this overlap is also sealed with hot bitumen the tar felt is continued up to the wall over the fillet and tucked into that chase tar coal is again poured and applied on top of the tar felt hence this is called a three layer treatment tar tar felt tar sometimes a five layer treatment is done tar felt tar felt tar in this case the cost almost doubles this method of using tar plus tar felt is also an old one but it is very effective a five layer treatment can last for almost 30 years though of course applicators gave a guarantee of only 10 years a protective layer of geotextile fabric is laid over it to protect it from damage you can see this there then pcc is laid in slope to drain the water and all this is normally finished with tiles or any other material and this completes the terrace work let me again introduce you to my team which helped me make this video kanika sharma started the process and monika and pooja took over the final presentation and now how can i forget siddharth who has painfully and smilingly done the photography and editing too in the next video we shall try to understand the modern materials being used for waterproofing these are app membranes polyurethane coatings etc till then bye take care